I just filmed a tutorial on this look right here. And if you want to learn how to do it, then keep on watching. So I'm going to make a makeup tutorial. Get a lot of questions. I'm actually getting ready for a little event thing today. So let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna try to go for a dewy skin because I am super dry right now and a classic glam eye. I've already moisturized my face using a Marc Jacobs moisturizer and now I'm going in with the Timeless Smoothing Primer by Tarte. Okay, so for foundation, I'm gonna mix all three of these bad boys. We have the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I don't have the color in it, I'm sorry. Um, the best, literally most trusting drugstore foundation ever. True Match Lumi and Shade W4 and a few drops of Iconic London to get me that dewy look because home girl is dry. Um, I always go with a more yellow tone foundation. Those are my favorite. And I'm using a Morphe M439 brush. Um, I've had it for forever. Um, and I feel like this kind of packs the foundation on and later I'll go in with a beauty blender to kind of blend everything together. The double D's are texting me, Demi and Dylan. Come over. So now I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. Duh. I feel like YouTubers always do this. Oh, it does make it clear. Would you look at that? Um, this shade is fair light neutral and I'm gonna use a beauty blender to do that because this stuff is good, but it can be thick. Um, so I just want it to be kind of seamless. I feel like nobody talks about putting concealer on these areas enough. Um, for me, I feel like it makes such a difference when I'm contouring my face. It kind of gives the illusion where you're like, a little bit more. Um, and I'll go in later and do a little nose contour because apparently everybody thinks I have a nose job, which I'll take it, but I don't have one, I use makeup. I want to have dewy skin, you feel me? So I'm actually going to mix some of these, it's Iconic London Drops and original and the Ipanema Ipanema Sunset Glow Oil. This stuff is amazing. You can put it on your shoulder blades everywhere. It's like a really nice sheen and I'm just gonna mix these two together, pop it in places I want to be shiny. Also going to apply um, a Chanel kind of mousse um, stuff and I'll also layer a little powder at the very end just to make sure everything is on there and it doesn't go anywhere. mix all three of these bad boys and just do a tiny bit I don't want to do a harsh line or anything and I want to make sure that I keep it fairly high I always go like this and it shows where your actual cheekbone is blush is really important I feel like it brings life back into this very yellow toned look and I just do this Okay, I'm gonna do one more little thing of highlight and then I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender just to go over it to kind of pick up any extra product and make it look like it is really, in fact, your skin. Hold up. I'm actually gonna use some of this Iconic London Prep Set Gloss Mist. Um, to make it even dewier and then I'm going to take my beauty blender and really blend in the spritz.
So I'm just gonna do a quick little nose contour off camera using um, just a drugstore concealer like this Maybelline one and a little bit of a light toned bronzer and a tiny bit of highlight on the tip. Eyebrows. Um, I feel like nobody probably really cares to see this so I'm going to actually do these off camera. I do have my eyebrows slightly microbladed um, but I like to kind of fill them in to make them a little bit more dramatic um, for like night events and everything. Alrighty, now I'm gonna do shadow. So I'm zooming you in. That's probably a little scary. All right, so I've already put a little bit of powder on my lids, but I'm just gonna brighten them up a tad bit more just to create a nice little base. So today I wanna do like a little flirty-ish eye. I want it to look like glamorous, but not to look like I tried too, too hard. Like I want it to look like I put on a little bit of shadow and then bam, it just kind of worked. We'll put a little light brown in the crease. And I'm gonna carve out my lid color just a little bit. Now I'm gonna go in with a dark, very warm brown um, and put it in the outer crease. And I'm gonna fix any areas that I think look ratchet. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go in with an angled brush like this. It's from e.l.f. I've had it for probably way too long. It's like a dollar. And I'm going to go in with the light brown under my eye and then with the darker brown and kind of get really close to make it a little bit more dramatic. Now we're gonna go in with liner. I'm gonna use the Tarte Double Take Eyeliner and I'm gonna use not this side, but the scary side with the point. Um, honestly, winged liner is a hit or a miss for me. It might look the same to you guys every day, but to me, I'm trembling every time I do it. So let's just all take a big old deep breath, cross our fingers, and if it's bad, don't tell me. All right, we're just gonna move on. Not too bad, okay. Go in with a little bit of a brown eyeliner and um, line my upper waterline too really quick. Now I'm gonna go in with lashes. I like this formula a lot. It's from a drugstore. It's the L'Oreal, whatever. I just used this black side of it. It's amazing. It kind of like flakes off of your lashes when you wash them instead of sticking on them and like rubbing black mascara all over your face. And I'm going to go over and layer some of the Big Ego by Tarte. So I've actually been really into lining my lips lately. I feel like I've been liking the fuller look. Um, it takes a little bit more effort, but I like it. So I'm gonna use this one by Il Maquillage. I hope I said that right. Um, whoops, my camera just died on me when I was doing my lip liner. I realized that I didn't put my ring on after I got out of the shower. So we back, we're good. Um, I'm gonna use Velvet Teddy because it's a night event. It's a little bit of a darker nude. It's really great by MAC. And some of this H2O gloss by Tarte, y'all. It's so good. It stays on forever and it's hydrating. Okay, 
So since this is a dramatic look, I'm gonna pop on some lashes really quick. I have these. Um, I love this pair. It's the AU Naturel. I get them off Amazon. They're very cheap by Kiss Lashes. So I'm gonna throw those on. No joke, I just had so much fun creating this little look and showing you guys. Hopefully you guys learned something and if you want me to try other tutorials or get ready with me or go more in depth on something or everyday normal stuff, then let me know. And now I've gotta go do my hair. Bye.